ask you a good question. Do you think there's going to be any trouble? He means trouble with the other players. Trouble? The only trouble I'm worried about, ground ball to my right. You think you're good enough to make the Dodgers? Don't know if I can make Montreal. Better concentrate on that first. What are you going to do if a pitcher throws a dust at your head? The same as you'd do. Duck. What are you sports writers doing up at this hour of the morning? Walking in your sleep? We thought we'd take a look at your new ball player, Clay. We'll take a look at him playing ball, not flapping his mouth with you guys. All right, Robinson, get out there. Throw a few. Loosen up your arm. Yes, sir, Topper. Hey, guys. It's George Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you with another video. What I have today is related to the clip you just saw. Um, it's kind of a first-time thing for me. And I have to admit that I was very influenced by Rick Vintage Oddball Cards. Shout out to you, Rick, and your great channel. Um, Rick had gone through in the last, I guess, maybe a year or more, maybe a year and a half, some photos that he had and he was submitting to PSA. Now, I had kind of the same idea, and I had been looking for photos of Jackie Robinson at different points, type 1 photos. I had never gotten any kind of photo um, authenticated by PSA. and had never been through the process before, but now I have. And so the photo that I'm going to show you today is related to the clip that you saw um, at the top of the video. One more thing, I'm going to be on uh, with James, Elite Hunters, on his channel. And he's going to be doing a live stream with Lou Rock TV and John Mangini. Uh, and that's going to happen, I believe, tomorrow night, um, Thursday. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. I'm going to show you this cool photo and kind of the process with PSA that I went through. Um, and it was actually, it was very easy and, uh, it was very well done. So here we go. So guys, this is a photo I'm going to be showing you from this movie. And, uh, as you guys saw in the clip, uh, I'll talk about the clip a little bit. Uh, the first thing is I purchased this photo a while ago, maybe a year ago. Um, and when I, I went to Long Beach and dropped it off with them, uh, and they told me how much it was going to be, which I think was $119. And when I got it authenticated, it came, this big envelope, came in a big box and a big envelope. And there was a letter of authenticity from PSA, uh, and it did authenticate. And they sent me this really cool letter of authenticity um, for a type 1 photo. Uh, and it was examined by Henry Yi and um, Marshall Fogel. If you don't know who Marshall Fogel is, he's one of the, one of the foremost collectors in our hobby. Uh, has the PSA 10, one of the PSA 10 1952 mantles. And so anyway, uh, these gentlemen are the ones, I guess, who do the PSA DNA authentication for photos. And so this one was a type one photo from Eagle Lion film circa 1950 from the Jackie Robinson story. And so I picked this up. I got it. I've never the photo looked legit to me. It's not, it's, it's kind of beat up, but I found it was just a really, really cool, um, cool photo. So that was neat. Um, and this is from the movie, The Jackie Robinson Story, who actually, actually starred Jackie Robinson, Ruby D. I I think Meyer Watson plays uh, Branch Rickey. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a campy movie. It's, it's not super, you know, uh, it's not going to win any Academy Awards, but it really does. You see Jackie Robinson in his element. Uh, this movie is pretty soon after he broke the color barrier. And uh, the, the, the photo itself is from the scene that you saw. Now, this is a scene from the, the movie um, where, and here, let me take this out. They actually put it in a coat, I mean, a really nice holder, and there's this coating, or the, this bag, which I thought was really cool they put on it. And again, the service was fantastic. Um, I would highly recommend this if you feel like you um, want to get some photos authenticated. Uh, I know Rick on his channel discusses the differences between type 1, type 2, type 3, etc. Now, type 1 photos are from the original negative within, I believe, within a, a, like a year or two. So this is the photo that I got authenticated. And Jackie is in the Montreal Royals. Um, he is talking to reporters. And as you can see from the scene that I showed earlier, it's right before he's going on the field with Montreal. And this is supposed to be in 1946. Um... The manager who would manage the Royals uh, at that time was a man named Clay Hopper. And Clay Hopper would come after the reporters talk to Jackie here. Then Clay Hopper comes in and says a few words. And Clay was um, born in Mississippi. He was a long time, uh, was a college guy. He went to, I believe, college in Mississippi. He played ball there. 
was a minor leaguer, and then uh, he was actually opposed to integration. And uh, when Branch Rickey told Clay Hopper, the manager of the Montreal Royals, that he was going to be getting Jackie Robinson, he was shocked. Uh, he wanted to know if Robinson could go somewhere else. Um, so what happened, according to what I've read up on, is that Hopper, though, did follow what uh, Branch Rickey asked him to do. Uh, and uh, in 1946, the Montreal Royals won the Governor's Cup. And the Governor's Cup was the championship in that league. And I believe he'd go on to win it a couple more times. And Clay Hopper was actually the one that recommended to Branch Rickey that Jackie Robinson be promoted to the big leagues in 1947. And so uh, I think that was an interesting, interesting story. And Clay Hopper, I believe, has the, from what I've read, the 15th most minor league wins uh, as a manager of all time. So this photo um, is part of that kind of history. And you can see their original photograph, Jackie Robinson story, Eagle Lion film, circa 1950 type one photo. And I guess this photo, along with many others from this movie, was actually in the uh, theater. So they had these in like the glass cases, the long rectangular glass cases that had the movie photos promoting different movies, movie posters, and they would have these there. So here's, uh, you can see maybe who's in it, Eagle Lion Films, property of National Screen Services Corporation, copyright 1950. Um, so I just thought this was such a cool piece and I had to share it with you guys. And also just the process with PSA, um, you know, I know they're not grading cards, but they are grading these photos as Rick has, you know, submitted many awesome photos of all kinds of guys, Babe Ruth, et cetera. And, uh, this was just such a neat, neat thing for me to get, um, get holdered. It's safe now. They did a great job holdering it. Um, and guys, so thank you for tuning in. And have a great week and keep collecting.